TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently have all the U.S. indices that we track trading to the downside. The Dow's up 989 points, a little under 3 percent, a little over 3 percent for the S&P, 142 points. NASDAQ, 104 and a half percent, 619 points there. The Russell's off 79, 4 percent. Semi's down 4 percent, 134 points. You've got gold trading out at 1876. Silver's out uh Trading out at 22.45. Lights recruit 107.37. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart as we, well, actually, let's start with the uh, index ETFs. Let's try to get a sense for volume. So if we take a look at the index ETFs, the actual swing point that's being tested right now for the spies is a swing point from May the 2nd. That had volume of 158 million shares. We're more than halfway through the day. And we're at 85 million. So 85 times two, that's uh, going to be similar volume. Where it appears that it will be similar volume to that swing point. Lighter volume than the swing point from February 24th. So there's two swing points that are being tested. In the case of the Qs, really only one swing point being tested. And that's the swing from the trading session May 2nd. 115 million shares there. You've already done 77 million shares. That low has not been tested. As long as price remains below 318.29, you should see 309.64 get tested. The Dow Diamonds, they're trading inside of their swing point from February 24th. The volume today, about 5 million shares. That's going up against 15, so lighter volume there. And then if we take a look at the IWM, the swing point has volume of 38 million shares. So far today, you've done 21. So uh, as long as price closes below 186.70, that's a signal that price should go test that 182.38 level. Now to our nine panel chart. Quickly here, you've got the uh, ES Mini just shows really similar to what we looked at in the SPY. Price trading below the bottom of its daily profile. That would suggest to move and retest that 4092.75 level. Spot volatility above its 50-day exponential moving average, but a one-day rate of change now well above plus 10%. If that's the case going into the close today, you're going to anticipate some type of overnight or morning rally. You've got the U.S. dollar index still maintaining it as TD9 count top. Uh, gold is testing the support of the bottom of its weekly profile. Silver's got a new profile. 22.32 is its level of support. Uh, Light Speed Crude has uh, got up to its uh, TD9 count breakdown level of 110.22. Natural gas wants to continue to move higher in a 30-year treasury. That's a weekly chart, folks. And that's the A to B equals CD. That should take us down to about 131 and a quarter. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Head Show. But if you're off to start your Thursday, have a terrific one. And we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.